And we're finally back for the ending of this game. Welcome yes. back. Yes, welcome to the grand finale of Star Fox. Uh, <laughs> uh, yes, I said that by accident. <laughs> yes, I realized I probably should have done this not in bonus episode 4. So I probably should have done it for this one, but I didn't. So now we're going to go through Hero Side and Dark Side, so you can watch me in the last two emblems and see what I get for these. Yep. And since I didn't show off every single goddamn emblem, while the boss battles go, I'll write, I'll write notes like in the beginning and ending sequence of each battle, all the five missions for particular levels, this what A rank, su bored. what scores you need for A rank, hmm. and yeah, to like up, what man. you just saw. Okay. Bring it Roger on. Bigfoot, reporting to headquarters. Oh, this is just a Yeah. Okay. Boss rush. I did all in episode four like a freaking idiot. Should have saved it for the last one. But now I do hero side and then dark side. We won't even have to watch you do the final battle again. Uh, I don't think so. Oh, wait, what am I doing? This is Spider Trick Bigfoot. Bigfoot to headquarters. Over. We've engaged the enemy. Come on! I'm a freaking bouncy ball. You can't kill me, bitch. We're just one head on. I love how you have 99 lives. Oh yeah, I built those up while getting all the other emblems. I, I couldn't make you guys sit through all that torture, but I'm at least... I feel like it's fair to at least inform you how to get all the A ranks. That should be enough. Because you don't want to sit here and watch me go through every single goddamn one. Oh, you're dead. No! No! Last episode coming back to haunt me! No! Get out of here! Get out of here! Oh, oh yeah, that's why I completely like trumped you. Oh. oh my god, that's over. And there was a jet plane sound that was annoying me. Yeah, I mean, I mean, like, had I not given you the opportunity with that last stage in the shooter, it would have been three to one. Yeah. So far, so good. Okay, now to see if I can show off this glitch you mentioned to me. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I showed him this weird glitch that happened in this particular fight. Yeah, I, it might be a little difficult for me to pull, but I'll see if I can do it. I'm gonna try and collect the ring first. Just to see. Yeah, always collect the ring for this one. Although, first, there's no time to play games. You won't time for a stare down. Yeah, I don't really know how to do it well. All right, that's it. Ready? Well, shadow. Uh. Can anybody tell how bad the AI is? Can anybody? Any time now. <laughs> He's waiting for you. Did I don't think this is gonna happen. Okay, yeah, um... No, I, I, I can't do it. Alright. Okay, to explain what happened, uh, I don't know if I can... I don't remember exactly the details, but I'm sure MJ can fill in the blanks. But, um, basically the glitch happens where, basically, if you tap one of the attack ones at the right time when they attack you, uh, it looks like you did nothing and they just hit you and they kill themselves. You get stuck in, like, an infinite, like... You're not in a somersault, but it acts like you are. Oh, yeah. So, no matter how many times he hits you, he can't hurt you because you're in your... Oh, apparently in a somersault when you're just standing still. Exactly. And as he runs into you, yeah, he basically Do dies. You know who I am? Yeah. Well, neither of us really knew about the glitch till recently, so I haven't really got a good chance to practice it. Yeah, so, I mean, I can thank the Super Game Brothers for that one. Yeah. I didn't even know it existed huh? at all. Who's there? Yeah, it, it carried over to the uh, to the what HD the report on the Xbox 360 uh, at Live Arcade. Yeah. And I think it's also on the PlayStation Network, I'm not sure. Yeah. Probably. Yeah. The HD remix probably don't have that same glitch. I don't? Yeah, the HD remix has the same glitch as, you know, this one. Although this, um, the GameCube for I think, might have been a little different from the original Dreamcast version of the battle. Oh, yeah, another difference in the, uh, 
between the, this, the Battle version and the Dreamcast slash HD port uh, version is in the original and the HD ports, um, during certain cutscenes you can tap A repeatedly and Big the Cat will randomly appear. Yes. Oh. But it's not in the Battle port. Uh, the HD port brought, brought it back. Okay, yeah, Battle ports is just random. I did mention that. Yeah. No, 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 the eight, the eight, no, 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 the battle for on the GameCube and all that, like, they don't have it, like, they got rid of it. I did see the big cat once or twice. Yeah, but, you know, now, like, uh, they brought it back for the HD for it, to keep it up with the, uh, the Dreamcast. Yeah, yeah, they did more of the Dreamcast version than the GameCube version. Yes, even though it's under the same title. Yeah. Well, GameCube just had more features than were actually caught out of the uh, Dreamcast original. Like, they did actually intend on having versus mode in the original for Dreamcast. Yeah. By original, I mean time But, I guess they didn't get around to it. Since the, then once Sega stopped making consoles, they decided to release a game out for GameCube. And that versus feature along with it. Well, yeah, because Dreamcast only lasted, I think, like, what two years happened? before it uh, ultimately uh, tanked. Which is a real shame. It definitely had some potential. It did, but it was too far ahead of its time exactly. as what people claimed it to be. Exactly. It moved too fast. Yeah, because it was the first console that had online play. Yeah. Because uh, you could hook up an Ethernet cable to the console and you'd be able to play online with other people. Yeah. The GameCube had something similar to that, but I think only like one or two actual GameCube games used it. Yeah, and now, speaking of online play, um, uh, I know this doesn't relate to it that much, but uh, Mario Kart uh, Advance, or whatever the fuck it was called, um, the, the original Japanese version had online play. Yeah. And that connected to the, their cell phones. Uh, but um, unfortunately, it was cut in the international release. It would be a lot harder for us to manage it, I think. Yeah, that's probably why. It was on like either expenses or just the way our phone out. Yeah, and like the GameCube originally was gonna have uh, like uh, the 3D scop it, scop it thing for the expansion. Yeah. But because of the actual equipment it was gonna cost more than the game and the system itself. Oh what the fuck? Yeah. Sorry about the interruption. That's <laughs> yeah, cool. I just I delivered the final blow and they didn't let me deliver the final blow. Oh. I guess they wanted the game to be 3D after the failure of the virtual boy. Yeah. Uh, Which is probably why Luigi's Mansion 2 is on the 3DS instead of um, yeah. like uh, the Wii I mean, I wouldn't mind if they had a port of uh, Luigi's Mansion 2 on the Wii U. And I would prefer to use like the Wii controller because. Using the vacuum with that, I feel like it'll make so much sense. Exactly. That's what I was hoping they would have one for Wii, but no! They... Ah. Whatever. Well, to be fair, Luigi's Mansion 2 came out the same year as the Wii U. Yeah. I'd imagine if they were going to make a port, it was going to be for the next-gen console. Yeah. Oh, I don't know if they're... I don't know if they're going to do any ports of their handle games with consoles. It'd probably just be more the other way around, if anything. Oh yeah, um, interesting it. enough, uh, you know some of the virtual console games that are on the uh, 3DS? Uh, like uh, the one that recently came out, uh, Crash the Boys Street Challenge? Yeah. Apparently certain uh, virtual console games that originally had a multiplayer function on their original version can actually produce multiplayer via download play. Oh. Well, you know. Get away from my and I think I, I remember seeing a list of the ones that said they can do it. So I don't remember where it is, but... But, I, like, Crash, 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 Crash and Boy Street Challenge is one of them. Um, I don't think, um, Wario Woods is another one. Yoshi, um... Crap, I don't remember anything else from it. But yeah, if you can check on uh, the eShop for the 3DS to see which games that were that have a play function to, to see if they have um uh, like a download play feature and actually do that in the eShop. I can't 
exclusive. So if there's a game you're curious of how it's going to work for multiplayer, just look to see if it's download play exclusive. If it has download play, there you go. Yeah, that would definitely be helpful for multiplayer experiences. Yay. Especially oh, since um, oh, certain games like Crash and Boy Street Challenge, like, that was made for this player. I don't really have that. I, I, like, in terms of no and yes titles, I try to avoid as much as I can yeah. of having them be on the 3DS because I'd rather just wait until they're out of the game and I don't ever do it eventually. Yeah. Which I definitely plan on doing Game Boy Advance and N64 titles for the Wii U. Like, actually, Wii U. Yeah. 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 Oh yeah, by the way, uh, did you, did you happen to catch Nintendo the Red, uh, for the Sunbreaker? Yeah, I got a chance. Um, I didn't watch the whole thing, but I got to see most of the announcement. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All I can say is, Sakurai is such a freaking troll! Yes, he is! Oh my god, people got so many things wrong! Right. It's like, the beginning of the trailer, it's like, oh! Let's see space, maybe it's a new Metroid game! Then you see Kirby coming in, it's like, oh, maybe it's a new Kirby game! You hear Kirby Air Ride music, like, oh my god, could it be Kirby Air Ride 2? Then and you see Mario Kart. It's like, oh wait, Kirby and Mario Kart? And then out of nowhere, Shooting Star, and then... Rosalina. Yep. It's like, wow. What a dick! And I think it was kind of obvious at some point, because when you see the Mario Kart characters, it's only the five that are in Mario Kart 8 that are also in this Smash Bros. Yeah. Enemy movement has been detected. En route to intercept yeah. and destroy. Yeah, no Yoshi, no Wario. Yeah. I'm honestly a little surprised that they have a fifth Mario represented. Well, I guess I should. Well, it, it, was, it was long overdue after Melee. Yeah. Well, they had, they already had four representatives. Yeah. Well, yeah, four I mean, Mario four. doesn't necessarily need a fifth rep, but it can have one if it works. Yeah. That's, that's the way I look at it. And it seems like they're making Rosalina unique enough for her to fit in. Yeah. Like yeah, exactly. yeah, exactly. Well, I, mean, I, I welcome an open house right there. Yeah. Because Rosalina is my favorite of uh, any video game princesses. She definitely has a very unique moveset, so she'll be quite useful. It's nice they don't have any... Mario Kart's unique. Movesets. Actually, no, I take that back because uh, it's more of a tie, but it depends on what aspect you are talking about. That's b between uh, hey, Rosalina man, and Zelda. Yeah. What you mind? Zelda hasn't been announced for a game yet. Maybe she won't be in it. Damn it! <laughs> kind of went off when Link Between Worlds was released. It was announced for a Zelda character. Yeah, true. They've been doing this towards the release of games, except for the Rosalina one. That one was Yeah, I, I'm just... Why did they bring back the Toon Link? Why? Well, he's more unique than Young Link, at least. Like... I feel like they might make his movements a good bit different. Make him actually stand out. I'm sorry, but after the shit with Brawl, like, no. Well, they have Namco working on the balancing, so it's probably going to be better. Because when they announced Toon Link for Brawl, they basically nerfed uh, regular Link. Yeah, they're like, like heavier and uh, stronger. We like Toon Link better! Now you should too! Yeah. You, they didn't like our vision! Let's make them like our vision! I'm sorry, but, like, the reason why Melee was, like, better with the Links because, uh, not one was so much stronger than the other. Yeah, I didn't like the fact they were. I didn't like the fact that they had way too many ones. Like, way too many. They only had like four or five or six. Like, six. Four, four or five, yeah. They had six. Six. Yeah. Marth and Roy. Mario and Dr. Mario. Yeah. Pichu and Pikachu. Captain Falcon and Ganondorf. Yeah, that's four. Uh. Link and Young Link. That's five. And. I don't think there's another one. I think there's only five. Oh, Fox and Falcons. Yep, that was it. Not bad. Which, yeah, so, so if they bring if they bring Falco back, he better actually be different for once. I I personally want Wolf back. Yeah, because Wolf was actually different, like a good bit different. I wouldn't mind seeing him back. We don't need Falco. Yeah, I I, I find it funny that a lot of people don't want Wolf back, hey, and that, yet they want the fucking clone because they like Falco. That's why they like characters are broken! 
I think you're the fake Which hedgehog makes me wonder. Here. You're I wonder when that is like doing. Okay. Huh. You're not even good enough I'll to be my Well, as long as they fix him, I mean, I wouldn't mind him you coming back. Yeah. This time, there's only one like, real sign. Like, for his freaking constant slash attack, it'd be nice if they, like, made him tire out after a while, so yeah. he's not completely on. broken so he can just stand there. You get, you get forever. Yeah. I mean, he's a badass, but come on! Yeah, I mean, Melee is my favorite Kirby character, but even I will no, admit that he, he needs you. to get nerfed. Like, he, he wasn't extremely powerful, just he was too fast to ever get hit. That's why he That's was what so I'm broken. saying, nerf his speed. Exactly, yeah. Like, that attack can be made a little slower, but I feel like he should get tired after a while if he doesn't do much. Yeah, exactly. Like, give the opponents a chance to escape. They're attacking the golem's three nipples. Yes, all three of his nipples. Kind of reminded me of that family oh, guy. Shit! Of that family guy. Oh, or that family guy bit. Uh, where the count like, was being bang. And it's like one nipple. Ah, uh, ah. Uh, two nipples. Ah, uh, ah. Uh, three oh, nipples. Ah, uh, wait a minute. Oh god, I do remember that actually. I don't know how reason that was, but I do remember. I think that was like maybe a year ago. I don't remember how recent it was. I think it was actually a couple years ago. I only end up catching the occasional family guy episode. Oh, I haven't watched anything like that recent, so I wouldn't be able to tell you like any other shit. Like I, but I did, I did hear about you know them killing off Brian and then bringing him back to the next episode. Yeah, I, yeah. Well, so back. many fans got way too upset. They did it two episodes later, but yeah. It I knew it was a freaking ploy and they were like, freaking fell for it! I like did, like did they seriously think they were gonna kill did off a major character? That's a good way. Yeah. Your emerald. Talking to you is a waste of time. I knew it was just a ploy to get people to watch the show again. Hand over the I freaking knew it. Emeralds. Give them to me. People figured it out like a day later. They're like, oh, look at future episode description. Brian's in there. Because you have Brian's files or Comcast, you can look through future episode listings no and see like what episodes are playing. Now. Brian was in them! Yeah, like I knew Vinny wasn't gonna be there for long, so. How do I kill him? Yeah. Magic! Yeah. Oh, well, yeah, I haven't been paying attention to recent Family Guy because. It's I mean, going the Simpsons route. Yeah, I, I, I've been only catching up with them as far as, you know, how many DVD volumes I have. Like, I'm up to, I think, volume 8 or 9. Yeah, I... Which is, like, a few years back, so I'm still behind. Yeah, I... I haven't been, like, I haven't been really... I think the most recent episode I've seen was from, like, either 2008 or 2009. The last good episode I feel like I had was, uh, Proposition 420. With the weed song. Oh, yeah. A bag of weed, a bag of weed, uh, Yeah. I don't think I need to go to the whole song. Yeah. yeah. That's the last good one I feel like they had. Everything else has been... Meh. Well, the multiverse episode wasn't too bad. Oh, that one was pretty good, too, yeah. I also like the one where they went off... I don't know if it's the same one. I saw a part of one where I'm, uh... For a while, they're going backwards in time. Every living somewhere on moments is backwards. Oh, my God. I, I don't remember that one at all. How recent was it? That might have been a year or two ago. That's probably why. Because we were watching a football game, me and some friends and us. Uh, at a football game and we were watching Fox still. And then that happened to come up. We watched it and we... Oh, it's pretty funny. Remember them, um, the puking hunt they have and bring the floor ball or whatever? Oh, yeah. They went through that backwards. Oh, oh wait, now I remember this one. Oh, now I remember this one. Oh, my God. We were dying of laughter. I couldn't believe they did that. Oh my Oh my god. I actually remember that now. I think that was actually like a clip of the episode now I think about it. That episode was actually pretty good. Yeah. Yeah, but I think the multiverse one was probably like one of the last uh, good ones they had. Yeah. Yeah, they seem to have like one episode every season. Back yeah, just like the simple. Yeah. Yeah, pretty much. Because I think the most recent episode I've seen of The Simpsons was actually about like a year or two ago, which uh, was um, this is the only episode I've seen before you know, uh, like five or six years before that. Um, it was uh, uh, Grandpa. 
like Grandpa Simpson and Homer and his family were going to vacation in Ireland, and you know, um, Grandpa Simpson like got tricked by an Irishman to buy out the bar. Oh god! And Homer, because he was doing his bucket list thing to you know, because he wasn't sure what, how much time he had left before he kicked the bucket. Right. And uh, so Homer was like, "Was getting tricked by an Irishman on your bucket list?" And he was like, "Yep." Holds the list and it says, "We <laughs> get tricked by an Irishman." Wow. Yep. They still have their good moments. Well, then again, every show does. Yeah. Woohoo! Final Bowl 100 emblems. A secret stage has been unlocked. And now. Wait, did it just play a classic uh, Sonic team? Maybe. I don't know that team was. It might have been. I think it was. Yeah, maybe. I don't remember the whole Sonic game all that well. So, for all the hard work you do for getting all 180 emblems and spending hours and hours, what do you get for this? Green Hill Zone? That is correct. The original stage! The first Sonic level ever! In 3D! To their imagination. Yeah, I, I like the Generation version better than this. Yeah. Because Generations, like, they utilize, you know, what made the classic Sonic so good, and then they brought it into a good 3D perspective. The stage also happens to be the hardest one to get in any rank on. God damn it. Unfortunately, you don't get an emblem for this. Because back, they all, I think they had this one on the Dreamcast version as well. I think. I think they did, because I'm, um, what this is supposed to do in the Dreamcast version, if you got an A rank on this, back when there was supposed to be a versus mode, getting an A rank would unlock Super Sonic and Super Shadow for a versus mode. Huh. You can't get them in this, though. Oh. They didn't have something like, I guess they had 50 rings. Like, I'm trying to remember the script, and they had like 50 rings each, and then once they ran out of rings, as they went through the stage, they died. Yes. But yes, you can relive the very first Sonic stage after you get everything. I had a feeling that that was going to be the super special awesome thing that they were going to do. Yeah. And just like the first Sonic stage, it's very short. Yes! And I did not get an A because I suck at getting an A in this stage. I don't know, we'll see, we'll see. I, I got, got 122 B. rings. You remember that. Well, I got a B. Oh, that was so close. And there's your A rank if you want to get that. It unfortunately doesn't do anything in this game, but yeah. There you go. That's everything. You came so close. I know. You want to try? I mean, I'm a bit rusty at Sonic games because the last classic Sonic game I played was the original, and that was on the Mega, yeah. that was on the Sega Mega Collection back in like 2009. Yeah. Oh well, you have the um, uh, you did the action races with me, so you should be a little up to speed. Oh shit! I missed the rings. Oh yeah, you can. Uh, I forgot to mention the bounce bracelet. You press B in mid air, you can do the bounce bracelet, which will allow you to jump higher. Oh god. Yeah. Speed's also a good way to get through this stage. I've never gone through an entire stage in under a minute, so I don't know if you get an extra time on Oh shit! Well that fucked me up. Wow, they went to the walls. And the spikes are annoying as ever. Well, good thing I didn't hit a checkpoint. Yeah. Hey, don't worry, you don't need to get an A. It, I've really gotten an A on this and was very disappointed that you don't get anything. Well, I'm sorry, I lost one of your, two of your 99 lives. Big deal. I can just build them back up in the final battle of Sonic and Shadow. I showed that life grinding trick a couple times, I think. Just keep like this. So yeah, I'm I'm happy I got through this project finally. Believe it or not, this project took like well the month, well the duration of the project on my channel was probably like four months. The duration of me actually getting through the entire thing was like six. Oh, I'm not gonna hit the checkpoint just in case if I die again. Whee! Loop -de -loop. Oh, I, I was gonna say if you landed on the freaking thing, I would have been impressed. Oh man, I, I was I was aiming for that too. <laughs> You can't do that shortcut in Sonic and Hedgehog 1. 
But 3D, bitches! Yes, that's right, 3D. I do like the sign there, Agent Bruce. Then again, Sign Generation is a freaking beast in a Sonic game. Yeah. The, sa the sad thing you look at, though, despite being the best 3D Sonic game, it's a collection of everything else that's come up to that point. They finally realized the controls and made it work, and then they kind of screwed it up again. With Sonic Lost World. What the? Well, that was a little weird. At least it's easier to get through the stage on this version. Because you can actually use the Spin Dash in this one, unlike Sonic Hedgehog 1. Unless you're playing a remake. Oh, version. shit, I hit a checkpoint! Oh, well. Bring heaven! Should do some older Sonic games someday, because I really did enjoy those. The very first Sonic game I played was Sonic Hedgehog 3. Okay, come on, baby. Give me something good. Unfortunately. But you have to admit, this is like. Yeah, this, I mean, I'm not saying anything against you, because you haven't even played this game until. except for the verses. Yeah, Just not me. too bad. Yeah. That might have been exactly what he said, I don't know. Well, you'll see it in playback. Yeah. Oh so, yeah, we finally did everything. And I did remember to give you the final A rank stuff for Cannon Core, which is a fucking bitch. So yeah, we're finally done. So, yeah. Woo! Thank you all for watching all of this terror. So but, yeah, well, uh, would you like to say anything about your future project? My future project? Um, since I end this on Saturdays, and I tend to not make LPs on Saturdays, there might be something different coming up. And, um... Yeah, keep sticking around. The Super Mario Sunshine LP is still going, and, um, I think Super Monkey Ball 2 is actually ending at the same time this is, which, which was my plan. Yeah, I totally should have been part of the Super Mario Sunshine you think you bastard. Me? Yeah, I know. I, I unfortunately completed the whole thing ahead of time, but I was in a rush, so I didn't really... Hey, remember this? Oh, God. <laughs> yes, I do remember this. Yes, you set up the power screen for long enough to get a preview of Versus. You don't get anything from the... I think you might get a cutscene or two from the story that you said you're long enough. Oh, but whatever. So, yeah, and I think another Sunday card is coming up. I'll uh, have to wait and see what, what's actually going on about that. I yeah. still have no idea, to be honest. Yeah. But, yep. Yeah. See you guys, uh, whenever. Uh, yeah, stick around. Yep. God damn, I can't even end properly. <laughs> Fuck! Fail number 100! God damn it! <laughs>